this is Tim and today we're going to talk about voltage dividers and how they work and also how that applies to a potentiometer. So in our last video we wired in our potentiometer to our meter and we used 10 volt off of our drive. So our automation question of the week was well how do you make 10 volt if you don't have a drive? Because if you just wire it to your 24 volt you're going to get 24 volt at the max of your potentiometer. So we went through how to calculate for the 7K resistor to make this 10 volt. And another question came in saying, okay, that's neat, but I still don't get how the potentiometer actually worked. Now I know we're supposed to move on to milliamps this week, but with those two questions, I really just felt we needed to spend a little more time on this just so we make sure that we do understand how this works. In this week's automation question, we used a 7K resistor in series with our potentiometer to drop the voltage across the potentiometer to the 10 volt, which is typically what an analog voltage signal is. So these resistors were in series. So you had the plus 24 volt of our power supply, the 7K resistor, then the 5K potentiometer, and then it went back around to the common of the power supply. So how did we come up with this 7K value? The short, simple answer is if you take your supply voltage and you multiply it by the resistance of where you're wanting the desired voltage and then divide it by that desired voltage, then you'll get the total resistance needed of that circuit. Then you can subtract the existing resistance of the circuit from that and you know what you need to add. Now that sounds really confusing, so check out the formula here. And if we plug in our numbers, we have 24 volt DC. That's our supply source on the trainer. Then the resistance across our potentiometer where we're wanting to have 10 volt is 5K or 5,000 ohms. And then our desired voltage across it is 10 volt. So 24 times 5,000 divided by 10 is going to equal 12,000 ohms. Now we already have 5,000 in our circuit. So we subtract 5 and we end up with 7,000 or 7 kilo ohms. Kind of throw that 5K, 7K number around thinking everybody knows it. But when we say a 5K potentiometer, that means that it has 5,000 ohms of resistance or it has 5 kilo ohms of resistance. And we shorten it up and just say 5K. So how does this actually work? The quick and fairly unscientific answer is you can take your source voltage and multiply it by the resistor that you're wanting to know the voltage across and divide it by the total resistance of the circuit and you'll get that voltage. So in our case we had the 7k resistor and the 5k resistor for a total circuit resistance of 12k. So we can take our 24 multiply it by 5,000 and divide it by 12,000 and you're going to get 10 volts. Now for the long answer. Using the Ohm's Law pie chart, which I'll link below, we can determine the current of our circuit by taking our voltage and dividing it by our resistance. Now make sure you bookmark this Ohm's Law pie chart that I'm putting in the description because even if you're thinking I'm not that interested in analog or you know I'm just going to be programming PLCs, trust me, eventually you're going to need this. So if we plug our numbers in, we have 24 volt DC and we have 12,000 ohms. So 24 divided by 12,000 is going to be 0.002 or two thousandths of an amp. Now a lot of you are thinking, why are we talking about current when we're only concerned about voltage? We're reading analog voltage here. What does current have to do with it? That is because voltage, resistance, current, and power are all locked together through this Ohm's Law pie chart. So if you know any two of them, you can figure out the other two. So now if we go back, we want to know the voltage across our 5K resistor. We know that there's two thousandths of an amp running through this circuit. Now that is two thousandths of an amp that is coming out of our power supply, going through this wire, going into the 7K resistor, coming out into this wire, going through our 5K potentiometer, because remember, the two outside terminals of our potentiometer are a resistor. Then it's going out of there through this wire and back to the common of our power supply. 
that two tenths of an amp of current is going to be in each one of those devices. So now that we know current and we know our potentiometer is 5k, we can figure out that voltage. So plugging back into our Ohm's Law pie chart, voltage is going to be equal to current times resistance. So our current is two thousandths of a volt. Our resistance is 5,000 ohms. Two thousandths times 5,000 equals 10. Now also, the reason it's called a voltage divider is because our voltage is divided up among these resistors. So if we go back and look at our 7k ohm resistor, we can plug in our same formula of voltage equals current times resistance. And 2 thousandths times 7,000 is 14. 14 plus 10, 24 volts. And that is how a voltage divider works. Now, how does that all come back to our potentiometer? Well, our potentiometer is just a movable voltage divider. If it's set all the way to this side, then we have a voltage divider of zero and 5K. If we go all the way the other way, we have a voltage divider of 5K and zero. But if we come to the middle, and I'm just going to set it right on 12. You can see my, my knob's a little off. With it set on 12, we have two 2.5K two resistors. And you use these exact same formulas, and you can figure out what the voltage is on both sides of it, being 12 and 12. And if you moved it, say, to 8 volt, then you can use the same formula and figure out what your resistance is. So that's where this Ohm's pie chart comes really in handy. I hope this video has been helpful. I know I went a little more in depth on the formulas and the electronics than I normally do and more than I like to because I like to gear this towards, you know, the technician who's troubleshooting. But this is the one area where even if you're troubleshooting, eventually you're going to run into needing this. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.